Hey guys, Silence Yao here. Welcome back to another Ultra Macross update video. Even though I said in the last gacha video that, that my video, last video for the month of December, but I completely forgot there is still the update video for January. So here I am again. <laughs> Anyways, let's take a look at the official Ultra Wiki um, and see what Dana has prepared for us in the beginning portion of 2022 so if you guys have been following me on instagram hopefully you guys are make sure you follow me there because i do toss out all the um information regarding macross uh, and of course Uta macross as well um but of course recently due to um, my schedule being busy looking for full-time job sometimes it it you know passes by me like last night <laughs> <laughs> when Dana actually announced the um, song for the first event of the month and yeah it seems that Yami Kure is coming to Uta Macross so yes let's take a look at the rest of the information first first thing of all you get to see this banner that we are so used to right now if you've been playing Uta Macross for coming to five years now um, this is the Nyan Nyan Matsuri banner basically it usually comes around when there's a festival and it's usually during the new year period and of course the anniversary for Utah Macross as well so yeah and you can see from the events lineup so you can see glow in the dark yes so like I mentioned uh, I missed out on that inform <laughs> information during the Utah Macross update on their Twitter and you can see that um, from all the Twitter posts here that is linked to the website as you can see this is the banner glow in the dark um so yeah so that was, this was mentioned while i was busy <laughs> yesterday um then of course there is a whole bunch of text here that is talking about the um free gachas and of course login bonuses and all that kind of stuff that is coming um you know the usual stuff for every new year celebration so we're going to talk about each of them later on so, but first of all we are talking about january's events so glow in the dark is the brand new Yami Kure song. Um, so for international fans who have yet to listen to the song, um, basically you can listen it to now. Uh, listen it to this. Listen to the song now. Oh my goodness, I'm fumbling. <laughs> On Spotify because Macross songs are now region free. Yes, we are now able to hear all the Macross songs. Well, technically most of them. Um, there's still a tiny handful of them that is still region locked. But you know. Um, you can hear most of the new songs, in fact all of the new songs and some of only the handful that are locked is mostly all the old classic songs. Um, yeah, so Glow in the Dark is the new Yami Kure song um, that, has, that was heavily uh, promoted during the Macross Delta uh, new movie uh, trailers. So I'm sure you've at least heard some snippets of it already. But if, for those of us who are international fans who have yet to watch the movie, uh, I have not spoiled myself up to this point. I have not read spoilers. I have not uh, technically uh, paid attention closely. Although I have been spoiled a bit because of the Japanese fans in, in Twitter because the ban has been lifted for spoilers and then of course certain information about the movie has been leaked out. But officially, I have not gone to search for spoilers myself. You know, yeah, got to, got to stay true to the excitement for the movie. Anyways, Glow in the Dark is one of the few Yami Kure songs that uh, is coming to the game soon. Um, so yeah, and of course we have a, you know, resurfacing event. Um, then of course the Red Boss event and of course since we're going through the Diva Improvement event the last event for the month of January should definitely be um, the High Score versus event so yes we are getting 6 star episode plates um, once again I mean 7 star basically with 2 copies one belonging to Mikumo and Yami Kumo then of course we have Yam, uh, Makina and Yami Makina so apparently Mikumo is wearing Yami Kumo's costume, so that's pretty interesting. So yes, the Yami Kure costumes are coming to Uta Macross. Um, then of course for the other divas, apparently Reina and Mak uh, Kaname. <laughs> I am fumbling so much in the morning today. 
I just woke up and I had to do this video. So uh, sorry guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, yes, Karame and Reina's Yami Kure costumes are apparently not lo not locked behind seven star episode of Blade, so that's pretty fantastic. So kind of sad for the Kumo fans and the Makina fans, which is me right here. I'm kind of bummed out. <laughs> there is another seven star episode of Blade. It seems like Freya is not in the selection today. Uh, this time around for the month of January, so probably in February um, You'll probably see uh, Ray Ray's Yami Kure costume in a 7 star episode plate So Freya fans, as usual, your waifu well, Basically, Makina and Freya episode plates are mostly always in 7 star episode plates So that's kind of a bummer um, <laughs> Yeah So it's nice that, you know, this time around Reina is one of them that doesn't get uh, the seven star costume lock, but you know her partner is that's kind of a bummer. <laughs> and Kaname, ooh, that's pretty surprising. Usually Kaname gets the seven star feature, so I guess Kaname fans this time round can rest easy. It's it's kind of cute that they actually gave Ray Ray the smirk that Yami Yami Reina does have. That's pretty interesting. <laughs> then of course the Red Boss event exclusive episode plate belongs to Reina and Basara, so that's pretty pretty cool pairing, you don't see this happen very often, even in the live uh, performances because uh, uh, Yoshiki doesn't really, I, I wouldn't say go well together with Rei, Rei but you know, it, uh, during live performances you don't see Yoshiki lean towards Naobo too often so that's pretty interesting. Then of course we get Ranka's classic Nyan Nyan restaurant service costume with a brand new Uta Macross exclusive uh, Chinese costume for Min Mei. So that's pretty interesting. Hmm. <laughs> Anyways, the rest of the other campaigns, it seems like um, this is going to happen. So this is actually the uh, repeat event. Um, and this banner looks pretty unfamiliar, but the episode plate is definitely new, uh, not new to me. Um, after all, we've seen this event before, or rather this episode played before, but the banner seems to have changed, I think. Maybe it's been so long that this event has been around, that I can't remember the banner's image anymore. But anyways, um, so yeah, we're gonna dive into Uta Macross now, because there's quite a few things we need to break down within Uta Macross, especially um, the brand new missions that are currently going on. So yeah, let's switch over. Okay, so we are now over here on Uta Macross. Uh, as you can tell, we have the Nyan Nyan Matsuri banner already available on the main screen. So as usual, if you guys are familiar with this, um, you should probably know what each of the buttons do by now. But if not, let me just reintroduce this to the new players. So the greyed out icon here is basically for the free template pool gachas that's going to happen on the 31st of December. So make sure you bookmark that for yourself. Uh, make sure you log in every day, claim the free template episodes, uh, episode plates. Um, then of course this button here is for the Nyan Nyan service missions which you need to clear. We're going to talk about that later because we're going to have to translate them for you. Um, this one, you know... It's not that important, um, except for the fact that you know you can see a grayed out image of the New Year exclusive episode plate. So if you want this episode plate, you definitely need to work hard for the Nian Nian service missions to gain those tickets to try and claim your free copy of the event episode plates. Um, so yeah, you can see all the rewards available inside. So you have to pull out the first page first before you can move on to page 2. So that's where your second copy of the episode plate is. Technically for free to play players, you will never be able to go to page uh, 2 to claim the episode plate there because they will never give you enough episode plates um, to fully claim 2 pages worth of Kuji. You will definitely be able to pull out one page completely at least. Um, so. Once you've gotten the episode plate from the first page, you can literally use your Rare Up Star to evolve the episode plate if you want to. But for now, we don't really know the stats of the episode plate. So, um, we're gonna have to hold back 
on the decision for Rare Upstar usage at this point of time. It seems like the silhouette is featuring um, Valkyrie, I think. This this bottom portion here looks a bit like Reina's head. Uh, it might be an image for Yami Kure. Who knows? Um, until then, um, we'll keep it as an excitement piece of information for future videos. <laughs> Alright, so um, this one of course is the New Year's envelope um, missions. So these do not start until the 1st of January. So until then, I won't be... I will probably be creating a video when the information comes out. I have to translate it for you guys again. Of course, there is Singing Stone sales right now going on um, and it's the first round. So if you can see, it says first round on the image here. It also says it here in, in text. So it is lasting for four days. Basically, um, you're gonna have to buy a whole bunch of Singing Stones if you want the extra Nyan Kuji tickets that you can use to pull out the exclusive episode plate. So as usual, I always recommend the 10,000 yen pack because it's the most worthwhile 2,400 singing stones given to you with, you know, the um, the seasonal spheres, 2,400 spheres, that's pretty nice. Um, normally you will get way more. You can see that normally if you buy the discounted packs uh, at 10,000 yen, you get 2,900. They are reducing by 500 here including the singing stones because you're getting the Nyan Kuji tickets which is 170 copies so 170 copies is definitely half technically half of any page um, so it gives you a half the 50 50 chance kind of um, to get the extra copy of the exclusive Nyan Kuji episode plate um, even if you don't get it now don't worry because Dana has actually return to the game some of the exclusive episode plates um, through some of the events recently uh, so if you recall this I think this year yeah this year was actually the introduction where Dana allowed us to claim past event episode plates that we missed out especially for new players that is probably the best way you can get old episode plates um, that has been locked by events yeah so you just have to work really hard to try and get those anyways then there's this tiny icon here which is a brand new gacha banner so we'll talk about that as well so for those of you who have the cash to buy singing stone packs i think it will be very beneficial for you to pull these brand new banners that appeared last night um so this one which features cheryl here and of course a few more episode plates so apparently yeah so these episode plates, um, if you can read the Japanese text here, I'm sure some of you can't because that's what my videos are here for. This is the short 1DW Gacha. So if you don't understand what 1DW is, basically when Dana introduced these Gacha types um, in the past, um, back then they weren't split between short and long duration abilities. It was just a generic 1DW Gacha. Now, 1DW gachas basically see um, you get two copies of an episode plate at the cost of a single pool. So, buy one, get one free, technically. <laughs> but, these new banners, both of them, the short version be, um, being Cheryl, so these episode plate features life skill that um, help short duration songs. Then, of course, Reina's banner uh, help promote long duration songs. So, yeah, that's pretty simple to understand. The main difference is that this one, as you can see this glowing gold um, icon at the top here, it says 5 star episode plate appearances with 3 times the chance. So yeah, it multiplied the 5 star appearance rate by 3 times. So yeah, if you are looking to get the main featured plates like Cheryl's episode plate, this one has that new skill that requires the fold percentage. 
Um, so these are the episode plays that are going to give you a very good high score and the total score on these epi episode plays are pretty good as well. Even for Reyna, Reyna's is actually way better, uh, 3,952. Don't forget that these total scores are within the plus 25 luck value but with what we've seen recently from the new episode plays, usually with the plus 25 luck value you only get 3,700 so you know these episode plays are generally very strong already considering that their plus 25 luck value are already past the 3800 range so that means their default without the plus 25 luck is somewhere within the 3006 to 3007 range so very very good episode place so like i said if you have the singing stones for it go ahead and pull these banners because they are definitely worthwhile um and do note that they are going to um you know disappear but <laughs> at on the 31st of December so um, yeah anyways let's talk about um, the missions now I guess so let's move on to the mission banner alright so this batch of missions have returned so I have a previous video on it apparently it works with every time it has re reappeared so I'm just gonna go through it once again don't forget these missions have dailies and of course some of them require you to pull gachas so the max amount is 3 gachas per day so as long as you use the free daily pools the morning session, afternoon session and the evening session you can clear this daily mission and of course you have the regular ones so it basically just overlaps over the 2 days that it's gonna last and of course the requirement to play any song so as long as you've been playing the event you should have this covered so I'm gonna claim all these rewards because I don't need them around anymore <laughs> then here we go the most important mission of all the Nyan Nyan service mission so pay attention everyone this is where you really need to pay attention and listen to what I have to say uh, especially if you want to clear the missions yes there are daily missions as well so don't miss out on all the daily missions because they give you the Nyan Nyan Kuji tickets um, which is very important like I said you need all of the tickets to unlock the episode plate if you want to get it um, so the daily missions as, as it goes you just need to clear any um, song of these colors so the first one that I have cleared here is the Star series, basically the Yellow series songs, the Blue series songs or the Soul series, basically. Then any song color five times. So as long as you've been playing constantly, you should have cleared this like I have. Then there is another one that is a daily here, which I have yet to clear because I've yet to play the song color, which is the Love series, which is the pink version. So basically, all you have to do to clear the dailies is play all the different series types of songs. So yellow, blue, um, pink. Uh, you know, if you want to play rainbow, you can go ahead as well. But it doesn't do anything with for the daily missions. So yellow, blue, pink. So you should have been playing all these colors because if you're trying to improve your divas stats during this event, this should be the norm for you, technically. Um, so yeah, then of course the rest of the missions, I'm gonna go through them accordingly. Um, so this one, you don't really have to worry too much. Um, so, because it auto clears instantly, uh, it, as long as you've been doing regular stuff, you know, um, you, you doing your VOP, um, pulling your gachas, you know, uh, giving affections to your Utahime, your diva basically uh, all this stuff you should clear regularly and giving gifts to your your, your divas you know uh, the things that you should have been doing after you've watched all my recent videos because it has links to high score purposes right now so anyways um, then of course there is the this one which is require you to get a double S rank score five times um, then this one, this one is the one that actually gives Cheryl Gnome's costume. So if you notice the Nyan Nyan service banner, this costume, this particular costume was that mission. This one. So if you have already gotten the costume before, it turns into Nyan Kuji tickets. So for older players, veteran players like us, 
um, this is definitely no longer a costume icon so that's why they have the pink text below basically if you've already gotten the costume before you will be getting Nyan Kuji tickets so that's pretty fantastic so yeah you, this one just requires you to clear 10 Nyan Nyan service missions so that's pretty easy then the rest of them are pretty accumulative so this one is the highest you just need is 30 double S rank score so that's pretty much it Nyan service missions aren't exactly very difficult it's just you gotta pay attention to the dailies um, the rest are just pretty much auto clear um, so yeah if if you really don't understand what this mission is um, you can ask me in the comments below because it really isn't that difficult to clear um, if I can clear it without me realizing what the mission is you should be able to do it too um, so yeah guys that's it for the month of January whatever information that is available right now um, for you know Uta Macross on the wiki on their Twitter basically yeah we are getting the usual treatment we are getting the tickets we are getting the Nyan Nyan service missions um, then of course there will be free template pools later on so yeah if if you really really want to see all the information it's all here so you just need to remember the dates or just play every day like I do and you won't miss a thing <laughs> <laughs> anyway guys that's it for the month of December I think I hope because um, the next event is technically starting on January if I'm not wrong let's see is the banner out now e nope the banner is not out so it should be here basically well according to the wiki um, the first event okay glow in dark starts on the 31st of December so we, yeah yeah I guess I guess we'll steal you again still in year 2021 <laughs> and here I am thinking that I won't have to make any more videos for the for the month of December oh man okay so much for me wishing you guys a uh, happy new year too early anyways guys I guess I will see you in the last day of December until then Happy playing. Bye!